Greetings, my fellow Freedom Low Simon Thinkers. Thank you for tuning in to the LO3 Podcast. My name is Craig, transmitting from the beautiful swampy mangroves of South Florida. And today's date is Wednesday, April 21st, 2021. And, um, yeah, I just got this earlier today from the Sun Sentinel. Actually, um, someone should have me on signal. I'd like to thank them for that. And this is a reference to Broward School Superintendent Robert Muncie. Attorney Barbara Myrick indicted in grand jury probe. Wow, it came out like an hour ago. And uh, I am at a downtown or saloon located at 10 South New River Drive East in the heart of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Right along the, behind the, the county jail, the county courthouse, southeast section of the Andrews Avenue Bridge. And um, as it reads here, this is from a few folks by Lisa J. Haresh and Scott Travis and Brittany Wallman. School, Broward School, Broward County Schools, Superintendent Robert Runcy and General Counsel Barbara Myrick have been indicted as a part of a statewide grand jury probe into the district. Runcy was arrested Wednesday on a charge of perjury in an official proceeding. A third degree felony, Myrick was charged with unlawful disclosure of statewide grand jury proceedings. Also, a third-degree felony. Woo! According to Briar Sheriff's records, Runcy was arrested at 600 South Andrews Avenue and released later in the morning on his own reconnaissance. Yeah, that's right down the road where I live. I'm like, wow, I didn't even know about this? Damn! I want to, I want to meet Obama's buddy, by the way. So, <laughs> I'll continue on here. Of course, um, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement made the arrest that aid, that agency has been handling investigations for a statewide grand jury that has been impaneled since 2019. According to the FDLE, agents arrested Runcy 59 and Myrick 72 for their testimony before the grand jury, which was panel, impaneled to investigate a possible failures in following school-related safety laws and mismanaging funds solicited for school safety initiatives. So... Technically, they're saying misappropriation of funds is interesting. So um, we'll just keep on going here. An FDL spokeswoman and said information related to the grand jury has been sealed by the court. Grand jury's primary focus was to review school safety in the wake of the Parkland shooting, but has expanded its scope to include corruption and mismanagement just in the district operations. Former Chief Information Officer Tony Hunter was arrested in January, charged with bid, bid rigging and bribery. Prosecutors say he directed a $17 million technology contract to a friend. Hunter has pleaded not guilty and denies wrongdoing. It is unclear whether Runcy's arrest is connected to Hunter. Additional details of Runcy's arrest weren't available, immediately available. I was very surprised what I heard about this morning, says school board member Nora Rupert. A longtime Muncie critic. The school board is obviously still in control of the district. We will be in a conversation with our attorneys about how we move forward. Muncie did not attend Tuesday's school board meeting, which was rare for him. He has been superintendent since 2011. Of course, it's a developing story, so check back for updates. Click here for breaking news alerts sent directly to your inbox. So... If you want to do that, just hit the sunsentinel.com, sunheavensentinel.com, and you're interested on this case, definitely um, do that. Get, get the alerts. And this is a local level related ordeal, and there was a lot of controversies with Mr. Runcy, um, possible mismanaging the funds, and of course the bond they had a while back, which the people of Broward County voted for, and it's been it the claims of. Uh, being unbeneficial. In other words, not benefiting the cause or the interest. So there's are allegations. I'm not even crazy about the man. I know he's Obama's buddy. He's from Chicago. But all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in the court of law. I'll be fair. Even people here criticize were critical. And hopefully it's not the case. But if it is. They have to back it up. And one thing I tell people, we can't have mob justice exploited manifestation. All right? That's very dangerous. It goes like what we saw yesterday with that one, one, one decision. 
uh, uh, shoving. Okay, mob justice is like going back to the KKK. Okay, we don't need that. We're trying to bring that history, that history repeat itself with a different brand, different package. We can't support that. So, just to let you know, hopefully, if they got the, if they got the evidence and they can back it up, that'll be Runsey's and Myrick's decision. To, what their plea, what their plea is. I'm expecting plea bargains if they decide to do that. So be it. However, um, like I said, I'm not crazy about this about this man. But I'm not going to jump to any conclusions because that would be unfair. So and make sure he gets a fair trial and so is Myrick as well. If we don't, it will be a ripple effect. We don't need it anymore in our county. There's so many controversies right now. What was happening in my, my particular, particular jurisdiction we got to end the BS one way or the other. And that will be it. I thank everyone for listening. Plus, feel free to download and share this right to social media networks. If you have any questions, comments, if you have something interesting you want to check out, whatever you do, please send your correspondence to the quorum. Remember, I'll leave a footnote of this article on my speaker page. And if you want to contact me, you can email me at lokiluck03 at or if you're going to donate, you can hit me at cash.app or uh, paypal.me, which is, um, and you can hit you can forward slash local up number three. Hey, if you want to subscribe to Sun Sentinel, go ahead. That's cool. Observe responsibly, like everything else. There's times I see there. I see the pros and cons as well. This is things I'm not too fond of some of the, some of the report, some of the journalists in there. I'm not too fond of some of the work, but they're not always disagreeable. So I'll I'll be I'll be fair and honest with that. All right. Once again, thank you for your time. Please always remember that the monarch resistance is something for the soul and can liberate humanity. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Keep on spreading the love. And may your guardian spirits be with you.